I'm gonna try this new product that I got from Swiss Beauty Craze Face Primer. So this was my first time trying out the silicone based primer. Supposedly this primer is made for moisturizing and priming at the same time. Though I am not big on primers, especially like the silicone based ones. I have only tried 3 to 4 oil controlling primers in my entire life. I can safely say that out of all the ones that I've tried, this is by far the best one. You legit need one pump, not just, you know, priming the T-zone. One pump of this will cover the entire face. More than me, my mom is obsessed with this. She tried mass primer and this primer, she instantly fell in love with this primer. She swatched it on the back of her hand and she couldn't stop touching her skin because it felt baby skin soft. More than oil controlling, personally, I thought it gave me the smoothest feathery base which I adored just like my mom I couldn't stop touching my face if you want to try anything from the craze line from Swiss Beauty I think you should definitely give this one a try I'm a dry skin baddie and I prefer this over mass primer I was so eager to try out this cream based highlighter from inside cosmetics this variant is called cosmic power and it has pearlescent highlighter color pearl based highlighter colors complement brown skin a lot i've said this before and i will say it again i don't think you have to use golden or yellow highlighter just because you have caramel skin tone i'm a dark skin girl and pearlescent highlighters look the best on my skin tone coming to the texture it feels very creamy and slides elegantly on my skin it's more of a metallic highlighter at first when you blend it out you can see the shimmer in it which I have no problem with. I applied the highlighter first to kind of boost, you know, skin luminosity, give my skin a little glow, simply because it makes me happy. <laughs> I used my BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brush and swirled the cream on cheekbones, brow bone, you know, inner corners, cupid bows, chin and all. I was having fun with this product. I applied it on my shoulders too. It made me look ethereal. Remember the lazy girl base hack. I'm gonna use it again. I'm literally using the same products, you know, as usual. The Blue Heaven Strobe and Shape Highlighter and Contouring Duo Stick along with the Inside Pro Concealer Palette. Really don't know what is up with these two products. I legit cannot stop using them and I found out why. Dude, I am obsessed with products like these. Let's talk about compatibility. These are the types of formula that work with any product, any texture, consistency, and finish. It like it doesn't matter. High end, affordable, ultra ultra affordable, and even like AliExpress cheap ass makeup. These products are compatible with almost all types of formula. Talking about compatibility, this is one such product that has been so consistent in my makeup routine. You see me use this in every single video of mine and I use this every single day too. There is really a faint amount of spray left in that old ass bottle so I repurchased it. As usual, I did not clean any of my brushes, so the majority of the time, you will see me use my beauty sponge and fingers. So today's makeup is full coverage. Full coverage, but it's not one of those suffocating, chaotic, skin choking kinds of full coverage. Very chill, very, very relaxed full coverage. Full coverage because we are gonna do a lot of layering like powder based products on top of cream based products like light layers and we aren't gonna choke the skin with thick products. I exactly know why you clicked onto this video. You wanted to know what the hell I had on my face. I don't blame you because I freaked out when I saw these photos. It looked like I was using 8k camera. I have 80D and it's not even 4K. It looks HD because I used HD foundation. I don't like gatekeeping, so yeah, here you go. This is the Inside Cosmetics HD foundation in the shade MN30. So this was my first time using it. I don't want to bore you, so let's go straight into it. Point number one, if you want to get this, get a lighter shade than your skin tone. 
I am a Maybelline 330 and I went for the shade uh, MN30. Choose a shade one or two colors lighter than your skin tone because this not only oxidizes and makes your skin look two shades darker but it also changes your undertone. I am an olive but this made me look like I am an orange undertone girl. Point number two, this is not a thick foundation. The foundation is better than the pack HD foundation. Pack HD is full coverage and it's very thick. This is why you will never see me use Pack HD. I always have to dilute Pack HD because it feels very suffocating. I would say that inside HD is like only 5% thicker than any regular foundation. It's relatively lightweight and easily buildable. You can literally use your fingers for this product. For the first time forever, my neck, my face and my shoulders, they all looked, <laughs> you know, one skin tone. So if you want to use it for photo shoots and media purposes, then go for, you know, your regular shade. In real life, in real life lighting, choose a lighter color. I personally will not use it every single day because you only get 20 ml of this product. Point number three, is it sensitive skin friendly? No, it is not. It's not sensitive skin friendly. It gave me a few reactions and it clung on to dry patches and like this is why I will not use it daily. It did not give me acne or breakouts. It just gave me a few dry patches which weren't there before. It doesn't have any scent and overall I, pl I was pleasantly surprised with the finish. I couldn't stop looking at the screen because that's how perfect it looked on camera. Like I would give this 9 out of 10 for the HD finish. All of these base products, primer, foundation, concealer, contour, blush, all of them complemented each other which I adored. I spot concealed as usual using my skin tone shade from the inside concealer palette. I also used a highlighting shade from the same palette to accentuate my key features. I also reverse contoured which complemented this specific makeup look a lot. This was completely unplanned. I used two different powders uh, to set my waist at the Nykaa All Day Matte Compact Powder in Honey 07 and the K Beauty Matte HD Setting Loose Powder in Olive. The Nykaa powder is my true match so I used it to set my concealer while I used the K Beauty powder to set my entire face. K Beauty powder is also an HD powder so it really complemented the foundation. I cannot deny the fact that it made me a little sad to take off my makeup at the end of the day. My base looked perfect in real life too and it felt very lightweight. Obviously, it's only fitting to accentuate my ethnic eyebrows. I always tone the color down to make my face appear softer, meaning, you know, my brow colors are always usually taupe or dark brown and never really ash or black. Today I'm aiming for dark eyebrows that complement this caramel skin aesthetics even though Blue Heaven Sculpton Set Eyebrow Gel in the shade grey is an ashy cool toned colour. It definitely looks closer to black than grey so it doesn't look cool toned. I cannot deny how convenient brow mascaras are to use especially when you are in a rush. A couple of coats from the wand and you are practically done with your eyebrows. Let's talk about Siren Eyes. It's exactly like feline cat eye makeup but smokier. Basically soft, smoky feline eyes with a feline attitude. You cannot forget the attitude. For people who have suffered with the invincible RBF, this is the perfect beauty aesthetics for you. You definitely have to try this one out. I'm not gonna change my eye shape and all. <laughs> I have pretty normal eye shape. If you also have normal eyes with bigger lid space, these techniques will help you out. Get a very basic eyeshadow palette featuring neutral tones like, you know, light beige, brown and black. I suggest something like this, the Swiss Beauty Craze Eyeshadow and Blusher Palette in 01 Mysterious Night. It comes with all the colors I mentioned with additional gold shimmer and a coral blush. I already mattified my eyelids with the Nykaa compact powder as usual. Ideally, there shouldn't be any oil or concealer residue since we are using creamy powder and liquid-based products. 
try to mattify your eyelids as much as possible i used the light beige shade again just to like neutralize my eyelids while i am placing the colors i'm very particular about the shape so while blending i will take the color towards my temple this will give you that lifted high fashion model-esque look Next, layer the beige with this dark brown color. I'm layering so I will start with a very faint amount of shadow and draw a line from your lash line to the temple. Blend, blend, blend and soften the color. Now draw a half moon on that outer part of your eyes and then connect it to the temples again. This is how my natural eye shape is. I did go back and forth with beige and dark brown to really blend the colors to perfection. I'm taking this Kajal pencil from Mars Cosmetics and drew a short but thick eyeliner. I use these types of eyeliner brushes uh, to smudge the lines. Siren eyes are all about lifted diagonal eyes. Uh, so while blending the colors, always take your colors towards your temple. Also, only place the kajal on the outer part of your lash line. If you place it directly above your eyeball, it will make your eyes pop like doe eyes. For any type of cream-based product like, you know, kajal, you have to set it with a powder-based eyeshadow or liquid eyeliner or else it will smudge right away. So I am blending out the smudged out kajal part with dark brown eyeshadow from the same palette. We need to build that value if you want your eyes to look, you know, sultry, sexy and so captivating. The overall gradient flows from brown to black and brown to black again. Now that we are done with the outer part, I'm going to line the inner part of my lash line which is the, you know, inner tear duct area with the mask kajal again. The tear duct line has to be incredibly thin and the line also should face down. You might have also noticed that I did not line the center part of my eyes. You can if you want but when you apply mascara, the center part will automatically look fuller and everything will look, you know, even. So mascara is where we bind everything together. Before applying mascara, I'm doing the same to my lower lash line. Remember how the gradient went from light beige to dark beige and black? Now for the lower lash line, it's the exact opposite. Black to dark brown and then beige. So the kajal eyeliner first, smoke it out with the dark brown eyeshadow and then beige to finish it off. My eyes look feline when I look down and big when I open my eyes. I'm using my favorite volumizing mascara. This is from L'Oreal, the Lash Paradise Mascara. I was 80% satisfied with the siren eye look. I wanted to accentuate the inner lash line and tear duct with this jet black eyeliner. Eyeliner is from Mars Cosmetics and this is the finished eye look. Dude, if you have round or square face shape, like broad face shape, you will notice how empty, smoky eye makeup looks on your face shape. Balance is the key. There is so much going on in the eye department. If I leave the center part of my face empty, it will not look good. So it will look messy, unbalanced and asymmetrical. It would feel like something is missing on your face, more like the makeup looks unfinished a very uncanny feeling we do not want so yeah just for the sake of balance and symmetry i'm gonna use a cream blush layer it with a powder blush and then use a contour and bronzer palette to bind everything together the last step of your makeup should always be you know the setting spray we need the base products to blend marry merge and look like one big old brown family for the lips, I chose my favorite matte nude lipstick from Mars Cosmetics. This is the best nude lipstick I own. I thoroughly enjoy using it. 
So you get a pack of three nude lipsticks and I first went for a neutral nude color called 10 Nude Crush. I wasn't fully satisfied. I felt like my features weren't popping out. It looked very 2D. So I went with my holy grail nude color. It's another nude lipstick from the same pack. 11 Play It Safe is a cool toned brown nude and has a visible yellow undertone. I layered these two nude colors and they looked so good. <laughs> Not trying to be a mean girl but truly feel sorry for people who haven't tried these lipsticks my thoughts and prayers to you babe okay now that we are done let's talk about perfumes i don't know i was just in the mood really vibing with this look it felt so fitting to spritz some gourmand woody fragrance because that particular day it was so gloomy y'all so i thought the woodiness would peak zara oriental and vs midnight bloom oriental is caramel vanilla and woody dominating fragrance and victoria's secret midnight bloom is a woody floral scent so apparently vs midnight bloom is a dupe for mfk baccarat rouge I don't know, it was fine, I wouldn't call it exceptional. Not Baccarat, I'm talking about Midnight Bloom. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Subscribe and like if you wanna see me more. And I'll see you when I see you next. Bye guys!